Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here, and here we are again with Rainbow Six High Calibre, the final season of this year, and our current new operator is called Thorn. So here we have Thorn, uh, she is she is an Irish operator, and uh, within the first two weeks, if you wait, you don't have to get the seasons past a player, but you have to wait two weeks in order to unlock her as a playable character, or you get the seasons past and get her right away, which also gives you a good uh, amount of bundle of goodies. So with this specific character, what is she and how does she play? Good question actually. She has the M870 shotgun that Jaeger also has, and you can also see on screen she uses the UKZ50 GI uh, so that's obviously a, a submachine gun uh, from what I've seen from gameplay it's pretty good I was able to play as her a few times uh, out of all the operators that have recently come out though I wouldn't have said that she's top tier I still would have said that Thunderbird is is probably one of the better ones uh, another few changes that they've made recently to the game whilst this has come out is that they've reworked the elite uniform so your end cinematic can be whatever clothing you want it to be so you can now choose other clothing apart from the elite like specific clothing and you can also change the uh, backgrounds as well so as you can see I've now got the elite animation with the uh, without the elite uniform but it's really glitched at the minute so if you play a, a multiplayer game for instance it will revert back to its elite which they'll probably fix in an update but the option is still there uh, but yeah, it's an issue that I'm pretty sure that they know about. The other thing that you can see here is the uh, portraits of your characters can now be changed. Instead of it being grey, you can change it between blue, red, grey, which I said, or gold. So you can make your character look like the Elite Form version. Uh, another thing as well, with the portraits, you can actually change the uh, portrait. So instead of it being the Elite version of... Um, Blitz for instance or the mute one you can change it back to their original ones so then they don't look like it in my personal opinion I preferred um, visuals original like look instead of the elite look but I can kind of see why people would uh, would like the elite look so I've got his normal uh, portrait with the gold outlook uh, another thing that they changed is the HUD. Uh, so with the HUD, they changed the mini-map, how everything looks. So I was in a game here trying to change it all up and make it a bit more uh, to what I like. So as you can see on the screen there for a few seconds, it was extremely big. Uh, so the way that I dealt with that is if you change the uh, HUD uh, presents down to normal, the HUD presents down to normal will then change it back to how it was where everything's uniform and a lot smaller. Some features that they brought in I didn't exactly like. I mean, I was just trying out, seeing what was what, how how good it was. But yeah, if you leave it to the normal, it, it makes a really big difference. Uh, what do I think of Thorn? Uh, she's pretty good. So she basically has like an entry uh, denial device. So it's a little bit like CapCan, but a lot slower. So uh, if they go in their proximity of her gadget, her specific gadget will go off with an explosion. The best case that this is, is she's very situational. The best way that I see people using this is if it's on like a you know a, a 2v1s where the enemies have to push into the room and if you've got barbed wire or stuff or something to slow them down enough it will definitely get a kill depending on how close they are it is pretty much an instant kill from 100 hp uh, but you do have like a good you know couple of seconds to get away probably what about four seconds five seconds to get away from the initial explosion uh, so Thorn is, is quite a lethal character, she's she's pretty good. Uh, out of the roster that we have though, I wouldn't have necessarily said that she's the best. What I would say though is that out of her playstyle, she's definitely a lot more uh, nimble and usable. I couldn't get used to the UKZ, so instead I stuck with the M870, uh, simply because it just made more sense really. The shotgun is a lot easier to play in my opinion, but a lot of people do run the, like, the, you know, the submachine gun, and I can see why. It's very, very powerful and it is very, very accurate. It's uh, similar to the one that Clash uses. Uh, with Clash's one, obviously, it's very, very pinpoint and direct. It's a very, very good gun. Uh, but the shotgun, I feel, is a lot more um, handy. You don't often see people using shotguns typically on uh, on defense anymore, but it definitely gets the job done. So I'm very, very pleased to say that I, I do quite like this character, uh, but out of some of the other rosters and the other characters that we've had to come out, she isn't uh, top tier by any means, but she's a, she's a pretty good op. You know, if you've got no other... Uh, situations and you you want to play for more of a, a bait trick kind of situation then you know there's a few operators that she could work very well with 
Um, but yeah, so with the small amount of time that I had playing with this new character, she's she's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, with how I feel about the DLC high caliber, uh, there are, it's quite glitchy, like I said, the main thing that I can think of off the top of my head is the elite uh, winning circle. So if you're the MVP and you pick a specific skin for your op, that specific skin unfortunately won't be seen in the uh, end credit um, scene with the MVP top spot. Which I think is a real big shame. Um, uh, another thing that I found recently with High Caliber, funnily enough, is that a lot of like a lot of bullets seem to be missing uh, their mark. So um, last season it was a bit of an issue. This season I don't know whether it's because it's new and you know the the update will come out soon to fix that specific issue, but. From what I can tell you for a fact that the overall gameplay, I don't know, the bullets feel a bit more spongy than they should be, which is very, very strange, I suppose, with a, with a new update like this one. But let me guys know what you think down in the comment section below how you guys feel about High Calibre. From someone who's been playing this game for a while, I'm happy that we can customise our elites. But at the main, the other point that I have is I don't understand why uh, it's so glitched. Obviously it will be fixed in the current patch. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think down in the bottom. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out, my guys. Peace out.